Thank why you. why aren't you out there doing stand up? No, I never see you out. Where are you? Where where, where do you go out? Because everything's closed. Well, I mean, oh yeah, you just got here. Well, I go out now. But yeah, you're right. I guess because you just got here. But if it was open, uh, well, I play gardens, actual gar like golf. No, I play parking lots, forests, forests. This is all real because this is we can't go indoors. So Dude, the literally the only I played beach. Really? Yeah, but I guess it, I guess it's not normal yet. So but, I get you know what? I guess I don't follow too many comedians out here because like literally this is all new to me. Like when I see your stories sometimes and you're out in a in like a field and stuff. I'm, I'm like, in a field. Like this is foreign. I'm like. Is it just well, it's Jamie? Not, it's not normal, but that's because it's... It's not the standard yet, right? No, because we're not, you know... We're, I just played a club, but it was the patio of the club. Okay, okay. So that's how we're... So you will start going on the circuit? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't really know. I didn't know that you even really... I knew you did the special, but I didn't know you were a stand-up stand-up. Like, you are on it. Mm -hmm. That you are more of a YouTube. So that's great, dude. Well, yeah, I do, I do more YouTube right mm -hmm. now, but... Um, I, I, I will go back into it. I guess for you, it's the opposite, right? Like YouTube is the smaller segment, but also you have an editor, so it's a lot easier for you to just record and that's all you have to do. You send it out. Um, Look, I, I have an editor too. You do it yourself. I do it all myself and it's a lot. I have a huge affinity for YouTube. I've had it from the get-go. Like I really? was on YouTube early, dude. Oh, okay. In fact, there's, a, you can look this up. I was, I had not, at one time I had the number one music video on YouTube. Really? Yes. It had 3 million views. No way. 100%. <laughs> On the same channel that you have now? No. Oh. Probably somewhere else. But gotcha, it was, gotcha. I was, I'm, I'm too many pods to talk about it, but I'm just always really early. And <laughs> it's true. And YouTube, when I was doing it, we're just giving sponsor deals. So it was like, here's. I didn't a, know that. Here was like a simple one. This was like in 2005, dude. When Holy. It, when Chad and Hurley and those guys put it out. It blew up very quickly because anything before that, there's something called Earl's video and it was like, and you had to, and it was, don't even look at this. Oh fuck. There's something called rotten.com, which was like everything in the world rotten. And there was a lot of fucked up videos on there, but they had video. It was like one of the few internets that had video. And then you, there was Earl's, which had like video. I don't know if you ever see the karate guy that did the flip land on his face. That was like a big yeah, one. Yeah. And YouTube was like the first kind of platform that, didn't really buffer and it was bizarre right oh and star wars kid and the amazing dancer and all these like there's like the karate guy like there's like 10 you know videos that really did it but the real one that put it on was lazy sunday it was andy sarenberg and the lonely island that to mm. me once that video came out and youtube was only a few months old youtube blew up i blew, i firmly credit andy sandberg and lonely island oh. for blowing up youtube and so then boom done it blows up they would give you deals. So like Panasonic had me and the whole thing was like, oh, do a video, but don't sell. So I got a lot, you know, not a lot, but like 20 G's, wow. which is good. And to do a video about the Panasonic without making it an ad. So it had to be a YouTube video though. Yes. They said put it on YouTube. It was only, it was supposed to be only web, right? Which is supposed because everything's everywhere. Right now. And so we had a production team, we had a writer, we did it at my house, made it look fake. And that's the type of shit you couldn't tell your agent. Because they're like, what are you doing? This is like basic accents, but the money was so fucking good, right? And no one could police it. It was Wild West. So there were deals like that that would come on and off. Wait, do you know a lot of people that do stuff like, like that did stuff like that that weren't supposed to with like their, with their agents? I was early. A lot of people, a lot of people would not, traditional media, legacy media people like myself, like in film and TV, YouTube was looked upon as this fucking like fucking amateur hour. But I'm like, I could see how that could be a thing, yeah. But it to me, it was the, the beginning and the end of Hollywood because it was completely disruptive. And I'm like, I have to play it right. And I still had my dreams of my dreams, which I was doing a lot of stuff. And it was like to be in a movie at Man's Chinese, or do you want to be a guy that ends up on somebody's T-Mobile? I mean, this was like before the iPhone. This was like the sidekick. Couldn't you even called get, the phone T-Mobile? Well, yeah, the sidekick T-Mobile was a T-Mobile. But like, like people would like people on the street would be like, yo, like add my T-Mobile number instead of phone number? Yeah, they would say T-Mobile. Really? Sometimes. So that's like saying add my Apple number instead of I know. iPhone. You know what you should do? You should get you should get caught up in that part of the story. Dude, like literally this is so 
because oh, I feel like I'm being I, transported to this time when YouTube was in, in inception. I you're missed making all this. You're making me forget. So what I'm trying to tell you is that I knew, so I, long story short, I had a, 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 an album deal and the woman at Warner Brothers, Robin, who I have to have on this, who's amazing, Robin Bechtel, was always ahead of everything. She's like, YouTube will be a transformative platform. And so I was on it early and Hollywood didn't know what the fuck it was. And I would just be on it. And I was like, view, there was nothing, there was views. How many view, uh, views, comment? There was never comment. You couldn't, you couldn't comment really? on a Gilgan's Island episode. You couldn't comment on a Friends episode. Like this is what's what, so, what, what the fuck? It was bizarre. So then I was back in legacy media doing shows and shit. And, and it was like looked upon as like, look, that's for the kids Fuck it, you gotta be real. But I'm like, this is gonna be a thing. So, long story short, I was always a fan of YouTube. And once they started that monetization program, I thought this is gonna be interesting, but it's still a lot of work. And then the podcast world, I started seeing the numbers and I'm like, this is definitely gonna be. And then, really, in the last three years, I'm just like, we're all gonna have to basically have our own network because we're not going to be able to do shit because people are going to be so fucking censoring and now YouTube's even going to be tough so we have to go to Patreon. Is that what you did? I do this because I love it mm -hmm. and I think it's really good and I play the game and I know what to put on YouTube. I have a really good a kid like you. You've been killing it. Thank you. Slowly. But I have a guy that that's a genius. He's great. Yeah and he was with a kid and built his ch fucking channel up. And I want to ask you all about this stuff. And he knows all the game. I mean, he knows exactly how to avoid copyrights and oh, yeah. avoid all of the stuff. And I know the words not to say, mm. but anything I want to keep that's good. I go to Patreon and it's oh, a, okay. and it's a cool way not to be a hooker because it's like, look, man, I want to make this stuff and put out, but I can't, you can say anything on your pod, on your audio that doesn't get censored. So you cut out swear words on, on this. Uh, not so much swear words, but YouTube doesn't love swears anymore. Right. It's just not advertiser friendly. So this is a little lighter version of stuff. And I put clips on this, but the real video will be on Patreon. Yo, 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 yo. I'm sorry. I got to interrupt myself to talk about myself. You asked for it. So we dropped it. That's right. This is another limited run hoodie. Samson Montague. That's right. If you're a Montague boy, which I am for life, Montague for life, you can get this hoodie right here and wrap it in. Yo. Summer's coming, and I'm saying I know some of you guys are getting jacked up, you know, TikToking and stuff. So you can get this nice, beautiful tank top. That's right, a tank top with me on it. That's right, represent that you're part of the Montague Boys. That's here. So just click the link below if you want to get that. And remember, RNJ forever. It's so funny because I'm fucking fascinated. So I go to your house, mm. and we decide we're going to collab on something. And the video turned out way better than i thought so props to you dude fucking great really fucking fun lovable watchable let me get it all out so then what is impressive about you and your generation of what it is that you have to do is you guys have to be you know a five hat wearing person yeah. and it's like you're the star you're the fucking director the producer the editor the writer it's on the fly and you that's very empowering, dude. And it's very fucking cool. And I watched that when I went to your fucking compound. So, but your whole generation is, uh, it's so fucking fascinating. There's a lot of adjectives I can use, but let me go simple. So just so everybody knows that you, like these, these, these content houses are very popular. So I want to remember everything I want to ask you. So, but, so if we interrupt each other, I remember. So there's like that, these different sway houses and different houses and there for the TikTok platform, correct? Yeah, I, th I think, I don't honestly know. The Wish anything. House. The Wish House is, isn't, um, no one lives there. So it's just used for content. That's a little bit different. To promote Wish, which I don't even know what it is, but I do now. So but yeah, we're saying, like we're mentioning it, man. So it's like, it's working. But uh, that's, that's an exception, that one. Most of them are people live there and stuff. Okay, so but you live in a house mm -hmm. with 10 other TikTokers. I uh, wanted you to go YouTube. YouTube! I so I did the video and I kept saying TikTokers. And in, in the first time I did it, you went, YouTube! You got so butthurt. 
And it was like, there's this ecosystem. It's like film people who were mad at TV, TV people who were mad at YouTubers, YouTubers who were mad at Snapchat or Snapchatters are mad at TikTok. It's just there's all these ecosystems. But but it's super it's super hypocritical because like I post a TikTok too, dude. We're all in the same yeah, game. Yeah, like, we're all in the fucking same game. So check this out. How did you end up in a house? What is this house that you live in? Because it's fucking beautiful. It's in my old hood. And they oh they, really yeah they took that they, that whole hood and they just made these beautiful like almost yeah cause, Malibu mansion types and uh, Malibu yeah and they rent them out. It's like totally modern. How did you even end up there? Well. I've been doing this like YouTube content house thing f- since uh, a month after I shot my special. Okay. So this goes back to 2018 and uh, it's with more or less the same group of people. It's just working now. So it's, um, it was more of a vacation uh, the first time. Yeah. But your rent was stupidly stupid. Yeah. But the, the revenue from our, some people on our team is stupidly stupid. I, that's what I got to ask you. And so it's like... Can I tell people what your fucking rent is? Yeah. Your rent in that hood... Mm. Okay. I had a house not <laughs> far from you. Okay. It was... Your house is bigger, but I had... It was like 2,500 square feet. Oh, okay. So like half. Yeah, I guess yours is 5,000. A little bit over 5,000. Okay. That's big. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a lot of people though. Yeah. And this was back in the day, in mm-hmm. the late 90s. My mortgage was 2600 2600 a month. Yeah, and I was owning the house, and it was a pretty good-sized house. How long ago? I sold it about 12 years ago, but my, it was always 2600 Oh, okay. Your house, but it's a really nice house, you're paying 36000 a month. 30. Oh, 30. Yeah. So that gives you an idea of that's in dude. Just remember now. Yeah, I understand that house at the most. It's mortgage would be seven thousand. You think so? Fuck yes, dude. It's a four million dollar house. Dude, that's why the homeowner never bothers us. I think he dude, came in once dude. to complain because the neighbors hate us. A million down and fucking seven thousand a month. It's the most, dude. That's insane what they're fucking making off you, dude. Guys. You should do that. I feel like I feel like like you telling me that. I have to do that too. Like we, we, we should all do that. Do we what? Just buy a house. I know. I was, I should turn this into a fucking. Well, this is like your own space. It's my own like, house. I know. But like just buy a house for the purpose of Airbnb. So wait, it's treated as an Airbnb. That's what it is. I, th- I think. Yeah. It's Airbnb. 30,000. So that means each team member has to pay 3000 a month. No. So it's it's on a sliding scale. I it's like on a how, sliding I scale. I like how dem, dem, democratized it is. It is democratized, but it's fair because it's. it's so if one guy made fifty thousand a month, he has to pay five thousand to the management. But it's not. It doesn't only cover rent. It's just it's the infrastructure of the company because everyone helps each other grow. And so if someone's not doing as well as everyone else, obviously they can't contribute. They don't, they literally don't have the funds to contribute. Oh and so, God. so there's expenses that everyone has to pay. And it, that's where some conflict comes in because we have a, a maid come in every month, every week. Yeah. Um, and some people are like, I can't even afford groceries. How am I supposed to pay for this? But maid? they're okay. But they're living in fucking a pimp house. I know that's what that's what's so crazy about it. I mean, you did your video on why celebrities go broke and it's like I'm not saying that it's comparable, but in a way it is because it's like yeah, you have a lot of eyeballs, but some of these guys are in debt. Some of these guys are fresh out of college. 